Folks, this is my video on this imperfect endeavor we call science on August 27th. Junk science sometimes still prevails in courts. Oh, friends, <laughs> call it imperfect science prevails a lot in courts. Judges, lawyers, they don't know what the hell they're doing when they rely on this dualistic thinking. Oh, this study is a good study. No, this study is a bad study. Craziness. All right. So I'm going to take us to the world of psychiatry, what I call psychobabble, and explain uh, how I arrived at my conclusions. All right. So uh, Sunday Opinion, New York Times. This is a great uh, section from October of 2022. It's not just you. America's mental health crisis isn't just about feelings. It's about money, power, and politics, too. Amen. I explained to our state of Colorado how uh, psychiatry has always been trial and error. All right? You try this. If you think it's helping, you and the patient, the, the clinician and the patient think it's helping, okay, continue with it. If it's not, if it's actually hurting with them, stop it. But all these people who judged me to be incompetent, crazy, demented. Oh, Lord. Anyway, so further evidence. There are so many books coming out showing that, uh, here, this one, Pathological, The True Story of Six Misdiagnosis by Sarah Fay. Yeah, more and more uh, books coming out showing this is a pseudoscience or a imperfect science at best. All right, what we're doing in psychiatry is just pathologizing our human condition. More evidence. Get it together. Troubling Tales from the Liberal Fringe by Jesse Waters. He's interviewing so many unique individuals who years before would have been mislabeled with some uh, misdiagnosis. So if you go back to the history of the DSM, Diagnostic and Statistic Manual, you'll find that things that are accepted today as normal, let's say being gay, was labeled a disease. 40, 50 years ago. And it's true for every part of our human condition. All right. So back to this story where they're trying to prove that uh, an ingredient in ranitidine, that's a medicine for treating um, heartburn, peptic ulcers, et cetera, causes cancer. We'll never be able to prove that one way or another. Uh, all we're doing is relying on, quote, expert opinions uh, and they're relying on an imperfect science. All scientists know that the biases of the researchers get played out. It's called confirmation bias. 